Why do you do this? Well, the why is a lot harder to write. <laughs> that's, that's, that's different. Why do you uh, do this, Alex? Well, at a basic level, because I love climbing. I mean, I just love the movement of it. I love the feeling. I, I like going climbing. Mm -hmm. And then if you mean the why climb without a rope, I think that... Yeah, but we can get to that. Sure. We can get right down to that, it. Um, I mean, I think that has more to do with, uh, you know, sort of testing myself to some extent or... Um, I don't know. It's, it's a certain kind of challenge. You know, it's a unique kind of challenge. I would say so, <laughs> that, that you decide that I'm going to take on one of the most remarkable physical feats anybody could do where the penalty is death. I mean, that's it. That's all she wrote, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, I am taking on that challenge on my own terms, with my own timing, after as much preparation as I want. So, you know, unlike other sports, it's not as if I have a coach telling me, like, get in there and perform. You know, it's up to me to spend as long as I want. And then if I don't think I can do it, then I never have to do it. You know, and so really I'm seeking out a challenge that I want in, a, in order to test my own skills. Well, I mean, <clears throat> right now in the NFL, Antonio Brown, one of the best wide receivers in the game right now, is having an issue because the helmet that he's always worn in the first nine years of his career the NFL is saying it's outdated, outmoded. He can't wear it anymore for safety issues. Do you have a piece of equipment that you're superstitious about that you will not climb without at all? Um, not superstitious about, but um, but I can imagine, you know, like my climbing shoes are probably the most critical component, you know, particularly when free soloing because really it's the only equipment that, that I'm using. For player safety issues. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly <laughs> for player safety. Right. And so, I mean, if somebody just told me I wasn't allowed to wear the shoes that I'd always practiced in, I mean, that would be a big deal. Right. You know, but you'd I mean, have, so, you'd have to sort of relearn and repractice everything using new equipment. Well, I mean, pl uh, professional golfers need to use a putter or use, yeah, a, use a, a club forever. Right. So what, yeah. uh, at what point are you feeling comfortable with the shoes that you, how often, well, let's put it this way, how quick, how, how quickly do you go through shoes? Um, I can, I wear three climbing shoes in a, in a handful of months at heavy use, but, um, but I use the same model all the time. So at least I kind of know, you know, I know how it wears over time. Okay. And for the hard free solos, you have to have a perfectly broken in pair of climbing shoes that are just the right state, you know? And so f for the free solo of all cap, I broke in a pair of shoes right to when, where they were perfect. And then I sort of shelved them for several months until I was actually ready for the climb. And then the day before the actual free solo, I took them back out of the box and sort of played with them a little to make sure they still felt perfect. How and do then, you do that? Like, what's your process? Uh, I just did a little bit of bouldering with really small edges, so basically some practice climbing with really small footholds to make sure that the shoes felt perfect on the footholds. It's just. And when, what about the clothes? You told me something backstage. Oh, about yeah, the, the clothes I just wore, I wore the same clothes for all the practicing and then for the actual climb, just because I wanted everything to feel exactly the way it had when I practiced. I mean, I assume that's the same with all sports, right? I mean, people perform. Well, I mean, and, so I need to clarify, same exact shirt or same make of shirt? No, the same shirt, yeah. But, I mean, to be, <laughs> I mean, I was living in a van. I don't have a washing machine. I don't have, you know, you just wear the same shirt. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, hygiene wasn't. Uh, I was unstressed, but I was by myself in a car. I mean, who cares? For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.